much better at spotting the birds than I am apparently but you've probably had years of practice. <laughs> Look at that beautiful lilac breasted roller sitting up against the blue sky. Although it's not completely blue today unfortunately there are actually some interesting clouds that are developing. They've got dark grey bottoms to them. Now not necessarily rain clouds because if they were... oh hang on what just happened? Did I just hear the word leopard on the radio? Hang on, let me just figure out what's going on over here. We're very far away though from where we were searching. Ah, uh, it's not, not where we can drive unfortunately. Okay, I'm not exactly sure which property it is. I, I don't know if it's Torchwood or Biffle's Hook. And they have found a leopard. They also haven't specified if it's male or female just yet. But as soon as I hear any more information, I will update you. But how cool is that? Now, I don't know what's going on with the weather. I'm just glad that we don't have any wind and that it's warmed up. Because yesterday morning was freezing, ice cold. So we're back to our normal weather again. Ah, okay, apparently it's 64 and 18. No, it's not too bad. That's about the normal. Oh, we've got another roller coming in. Hello, are you Mr. and Mrs. Roller? Oh, this will be nice. Let's see what's happened. You see? Oh, courtship. Oh, wow. Did you see that? Did you see how incredible that was? So what happened there? The male actually brought a prenuptial gift to the female. That's the one who just ate it. That is so cool. And then he, tr he sort of, that wasn't a proper mating attempt though, unfortunately. But how great was that? So this is what I'm so excited about now is even though the cats are not cooperating, the birds are, especially with my nest search. Now, we're going to see a lot of this courtship process starting to, to sort of develop. We're hearing a lot more birds uh, that we haven't been hearing, for instance, the black-headed orioles have been singing their song quite a bit, and we've been seeing them around more often. And that was, the, well, and just another tick on the list to say that the birds are getting ready to start making their nests. And that is, that is interesting to me, because I feel as though it's a little bit early. If I remember, I thought we only started seeing this type of behavior, when was it? like a month or two from now. Let me grab my mobile device while you look at this. I want to actually have a look and see if I can figure out when the breeding season from the rollers are. This is what we need to start learning now. But there's also some raptors, big birds flying in the sky. There could be vultures. I think they're searching for a thermal to catch. I don't know if you'll be able to see them, Craig. It's so far away. Oh there, top right hand corner of your screen. It's just flying on the cloud. It's just going past that cloud. I don't know which vultures they are, but definitely a particular type there's about four or five of them they don't look like they're diving they just look like they're trying to catch a thermal which might be slightly tricky on a day like today what are we looking for rollers so we need to go to R and then I will be able to tell you what the breeding season is lilac breasted roller let's go all the way down this app is very handy I suppose I have books too but the books oh my goodness you see me trying to page through them very quickly Okay, now I think I've gone past breeding. You'll see me in what I look like as I search. No, that's just describing adult distribution, habitat, br yeah, breeding. That's what we're looking for. Okay, now, now we need to find the part where it says, here we go, laying dates. Laying dates typically between August and February. It's a bit early. It's interesting. Everything is very interesting. <laughs> Knobthorn 